let's have a look at the building blocks of subtractive synthesis. These are the type of controls you'll find in 90% of synthesizers out there, so once you learn these terms, you'll be able to transfer your knowledge. Starting off here to the top left, we have the oscillator. And the oscillator is where the sound is generated in the first place. Now there's many different waveforms that we'll talk about that generate different harmonics, but think of this as where the sound starts from, the raw sound. You can actually have multiple oscillators in a synthesizer, and they can be mixed together to create even more complex harmonics. From there, the sound goes into the filter, and the filter is used to shape the sound. This is the subtractive bit in subtractive synthesis. So you're starting off with complex harmonics from the oscillator, and then they're being subtracted and sculpted with the filter. This is somewhat akin to sculpting in stone, where you start off with you know, a large block of stone and you're shaping that into you know, the form that you want. From there, the sound is passed into an amplifier section where you can shape the volume of the sound. And finally, output to the speaker where we can hear it. Now, so far, this is a very straightforward signal path. And if we just listen to the sound, it would be very static. So to add movement to our sound, we use what are called modulators. Now, common modulators you'll find are envelopes, and these will shape the sound every time you play a note on your keyboard. Another common type of modulator is an LFO, or low frequency oscillator. And these are similar to, you know, the oscillators that we actually hear, but they're used to change the volume or the filter of the sound over time. And this adds a sort of continuous cycling change. And finally, we have some global controls where we're changing the overall volume or pitch, etc., of the entire synth. So here in Logic, looking at RetroSynth, we can see starting at the top left of the interface, we have the oscillators. And we've got two oscillators here. And then moving on here in the top middle, we've got the filth section, followed by a volume section, and then some basic effects. Now the modulators are found down the bottom of the interface. We've got two envelopes down the bottom right here. We've got an amplifier envelope and a filter envelope. And there's also an LFO. There's some global controls such as glide also down the bottom left. So they're the basic building blocks. Now we understand the signal flow, let's jump into RetroSynth and have a closer look at the oscillators.